Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode in the Payday 2 Complete Guide. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the very basics of Payday 2 and answering a couple common questions that new players have. So let's start from square one. Maybe you picked this game up on a Steam sale or even a friend gifted it to you. Either way, you're probably wondering what Payday 2 is all about. In short, Payday 2 is a first person crime simulator. You and up to three of your friends participate in various criminal activities throughout the metropolitan DC area. As you advance through the criminal world, you will gain money, new weapons, new gear, and new skills and abilities, all of which will make your illicit activities go much smoother and allow you to take on much more difficult missions and contracts. While the game does focus on crime, it also has a strong emphasis on gunplay as well. There can be well over 100 weapons at your disposal in Payday 2 ranging from shotguns, pistols, assault rifles, and machine guns, and all of which will have different strengths and weaknesses. Firearms in the game are also highly customizable, with dozens of attachments and modifications available for almost every weapon, letting you tune your own weapon to your personal liking. As previously mentioned, you will complete various jobs, also known as contracts, for money, XP, and other bonus loot. What contracts are available can be found from the main menu, by clicking on CrimeNet or CrimeNet Offline. Various flashing icons will appear and display the jobs available that you can accept. In CrimeNet, you can see what difficulty ranking the contract has, how many days it will take to complete, how much XP you can earn, and how much it will pay out. The amount of money and by extension XP you will receive will depend on difficulty and the amount of days it takes to complete a contract. Whether you're boosting cars, robbing banks, or even boosting nukes, at the end of every contract, in addition to receiving money and experience points, you will also receive what is known as a payday. You and every member of the crew will be given the option to pick one of three cards. After every player has selected a card, they will flip over, revealing a reward. The reward can range from bonus cash, bonus XP, masks, weapon mods, and even weapon safes and drills. All of these we will cover in greater detail in a later video. Another relatively unique feature in Payday 2 is having different options for completing certain missions. Whether you want to kick in the door, or maybe sneak around back and complete the mission Sam Fisher style, the choice is ultimately yours. Missions such as Bank Heists, The Diamond Store, and Big Oil all have the ability to be completed using stealth alone. The advantages of doing missions quietly are obvious. Not only will you not have to fight tooth and nail for every bag of loot or objective, but you'll also receive an XP bonus for the next contract you complete. However, stealthing a contract can have its own downsides as well. It can be a bit unpredictable, especially if other players do not have a good connection. Also, if you are detected, most stealth preferable equipment, such as electronic countermeasures, and concealable weapons fare worse in straight up combat than other options. Going loud can take longer and will require good coordination with teammates, especially on higher difficulties, but it does prove to be a more consistent option. Below the crime net options in the main menu, the first thing you will see is the inventory menu, which allows you to change different aspects of your character before you start a contract. You can choose from a variety of character options to play as, including the original cast from Payday the Heist, Dallas, Hoxton, Shanes, and Wolf, as well as some additional characters like Houston and John Wick. You can also choose which mask your character will wear, whether it be the character's default or one you have custom made. You can also customize the various weapons, gadgets, and equipment you will carry into battle, ranging from primary and secondary weapons to armor and grenades, and even a deployable option. Finally, this menu will also contain your current skill selections and perk deck choice. All of these will provide either passive bonuses or active abilities that you or your crew can take advantage of. These range from improved weapon damage, faster reloading, faster running, or the ability to yell at downed players to revive them. Currently in Payday 2, there are five different skill trees to pick skills from, Mastermind, Enforcer, Technician, Ghost, and Fugitive. Each tree will have unique abilities that can tailor your character to a variety of playstyles. 
Perk decks are a selection of pre-collected perk cards that will provide you and your team with a variety of bonuses that range in effectiveness depending on each contract and playstyle. Below the inventory menu, you have the Steam inventory, which contains safes, drills, and weapon skins unlocked from said safes. However, this controversial subject will be covered in a later video. Infamy will also be covered in a separate video, but in short, it is essentially a prestige system that can be activated once you reach level 100. The final gameplay related option from the main menu is the safe house. This is where you can view all of your offshore cash, as well as examine some of your customized masks and weapons. It also features a firing range to test out new weapons before taking them into the breach. There are a few more selections on the main menu including content updates, which will display any new added content, including free and paid DLCs, as well as any out-of-game features added. GameHub will open the Payday 2 community page, which will be a host to artwork, announcements, discussion threads, and much more for those who want to dive into the community. And last but not least, we have the FBI files, an interesting web widget that allows you to look at not only your Payday 2 career, including stats and performance, but also general info on enemy units, weapons, and other assets. That will cover all of the basics of Payday 2. Join me next time as we go through the basics of heisting, including different phases, and the basics of planning and pre-planning. If you have any questions or feel I missed anything, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. As always, my name is Richard, and until next time, farewell.